What up, what up, what up, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen, your boy welcome back to another Meta 25 Online Rank Match, and today, we are going to go ahead and give you guys our Xbox Live lineup, we have managed to get to a 99 overall, and uh, we actually accomplished this, uh, I want to say yesterday, the day before that. Now, now it's very easy to get a 99 overall team because with so many new cards coming out, a lot of cards are so cheap. You know, like Brian Dawkins, 99 overall is going for like 80K. And uh, you got so many players, 98 Dion is going for like 70K. And these cards, when they were the best at the time, were going for 300K. And it was so tough to get a 99 then. You know, now it's a lot easier considering the market is just flooded. And uh, it's a lot easier to get cards. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead and show you guys our lineup and uh, what I plan on doing with the series. Now, um, there's a lot of things I want to be doing. First and foremost, uh, if anybody's wondering about um, anybody wondering about multiple videos, we'll get our way back in there, you know, slowly but surely. You know, we're going to go on ahead and, uh, you know, get back into daily videos. I'm not sure if I'm going to be pumping out three, just maybe two for a while. Uh, maybe one for a couple days, or maybe it's just, you know, I just may be pumping out three. I'm not sure, but uh, we will get into, you know, the multiple videos um, very soon. Now, um, let's just go on ahead and show you guys our starting lineup. Now, I have, have some good ideas, man, that I want to be doing. I want to bring you guys a top ten series. Let me know what you guys think, like, you know, top ten series, like, uh, you know, um, the top ten hardest hitting cornerbacks in Mutt, the top ten uh, you know, best receivers in my, in, in my opinion, you know, these are things that, you know, um, I would like to inquire about, like, the other day, I was looking for, you know, cornerback with hip power, and of course, Night Train Lane comes to mind, 94 hip power, after that, I really don't know who can hit hard after that, and I was like, you know what, there's nowhere around where there's, like, a list of, you know, where you can find these guys, like, you know, maybe I should do videos about this, you know, uh, you know, top 10, you know, best route running receivers, you know, top 10, um, you know, best running backs in the game. Of course, these will all be, you know, opinion-based, but uh, let me know what you guys think. You know, I would love to bring that to you guys, and uh, if you guys are, you know, um, would like that, let me know. So, um, also, um, I'm going to be live streaming. Well, I won't be live streaming. I'm going up against Moonlight Swami today um, in, in a live stream. I'm not sure when what when that is. Uh, probably be a little soon after this video. I'm gonna drop a vi another video, just letting you guys know where you can watch the game live. Um, you know, uh, Moonlight Swami. It's a very good, uh, you know, Madden commentator. His link will be in the description of that other video that I would do. Uh, it's a very sim league, so uh, you know we're gonna be just running, you know, stock plays and you know just having a good time. So look out for that as well. But, um, alright, let's get into the current roster and then our starting lineup. We got some new additions that literally just happened before you guys came. I'm very excited. Now, J uh, James Harrison, I actually pulled in a uh, bundle opening that I did for the stream one time. I, I opened so many bundles. I, I spend a lot of money on Mutt. <laughs> Not trying to get the best team because I've beaten, I've won Super Bowls with a 92 overall team. I've gone up against some of the best teams I've seen and been victorious and things like that. So, um, I just do it because, you know, people really enjoy it. You know, uh, people enjoy pack openings. They, they want to see what you get. Hopefully you get something good. And I actually pulled him in a um, pack opening. And I, I've held on to him. You know, he's uh, he's been doing work for me. So, you know, I've held on to him. This card right here is absolutely astronomically biblical. This Drew Brees throws lasers. Now, this card actually put me over the top for my 99 overall team. I was at 98, and then uh, I noticed I was just looking around, and, uh, you know, sometimes um, it'll show you overall change when you're searching through the auction. It'll say plus one if you get this card at this position. You know, you'll receive an increase in the overall. And I noticed any 99 QB at that time would have given me a uh, 99 overall. So I didn't do it just for that. I actually stood with my QB at the time, but... Um, I read the reviews on Drew Brees, and um, even though he's a slow QB, you know, his speed is only 69. Um, but to me, that, that's fast enough to, to be sneaky. You guys know I call Cutler the slowest, fastest QB in the world. You know, Cutler has like 70 speed, but I've ran for hundreds of yards with him. You know what I mean? Uh, he's got that slow speed we won't expect. You know what I mean? No, he's not going to get away from a Lawrence Taylor 
or, or Ray Lewis or nothing like that. But he's, he's quick enough where if you're really not paying attention, I could sneak a read option and get 15 yards out of nowhere. You know what I mean? But um, his throw accuracy is 99, throw power 94, throw deep 92. And he puts the ball where it needs to be placed. I've seen him do throws. I've only had him for a couple of days. He's done throws where I, I like my jaw would literally drop. And I would just be like, wow, there's no quarterback that should be able to make this throw. I wouldn't change this Drew Brees for anybody. I'm sure Peyton Manning is very similar. 98 accuracy and all the stats line up very similar. But I've never played with Peyton. So I don't know how he does. But this card is amazing. I'm sorry. Let me go on because there's so many cards to talk about. Uh, Brian Dawkins. Um, a little disappointed in this card. Not going to lie. Uh, I bought him for 580 k at the time. And, of course, I'm fascinated with the 102 hit power that he possesses. 95 speed, 99 play recognition. I've played maybe 30 games with him, and he's forced about two fumbles. Now, uh, one thing I've noticed is that um, it's better when I blitz him because uh, when he gets to the quarterback, 102 hit power, he, he jaws the ball loose a lot when he's stacking the QB. Other than that, he hit sticks everything. You know, he's an auto hit stick, but he just j doesn't jar the ball loose. You don't get Brian Dawkins because he's he's not the best coverage guy. Well, this car is souped up. You know, his zone coverage is insane. But, you know, you don't get Brian Dawkins to bait, you know, um, passes. You don't get him to, you know, uh, play great coverage. You get him because you want to lay people out. And you would expect more fumbles. And to be honest, I'm a little disappointed with the card. Um, uh, really hasn't been playing that well for me. Troy Palomalo actually had two. I purchased this one, and um, I actually pulled another one in that same bundle, I think, where I got James Harrison. And I actually ended up selling him. This card does does pretty well. Uh, play recognition, 100, so he's always around the ball. You know what I mean? No matter what it is, he's always around the ball. It, it's great. You can run commit on a pass, and he'll still have the play recognition not to be full. You know, it's, it's crazy. Very good. But I'm actually thinking about selling him and because, uh, as you guys see, I got free safety, Sean Taylor. And I really don't need three, you know, great guys, um, you know, playing safety. But uh, right here, Dwight Freeney, I purchased him for 410 k uh, the other day, actually. Finesse, the very first game I played with him, three sacks with 95 speed, you know, and his acceleration is something insane, too. Uh, I think it's like 96 or maybe even 98 or whatever. Uh, he just is a one-man nano. He will literally run around the guard uh quicker than anything i've ever seen and uh, he, he just wraps he's he's insane guy's a monster joe hayden i literally just got this card before the stream started uh i wanted to uh go on ahead and um get myself uh joe hayden i wanted him so bad and uh i snagged him for 515k i literally just got him and um i haven't played a game with him so no reviews yet uh, Ray Lewis, uh, his price obviously dropped with uh, another Ray Lewis coming out, and uh, a lot of new cards coming out, like the you know the holographics. You know, people say sparkles. I call them holo holographics, whatever you want to call them, because to me they look like the holographic Pokemon cards. So uh, with the holographic uh, Ray Lewis out and the holographic uh, Patrick Willis coming, his price dropped. So uh, it, to me, it was a no-brainer to go ahead and upgrade uh, to a very solid middle linebacker, possibly the second or third, t definitely top three in my eyes. Middle linebacker in the game. Sean Taylor, to me, by far the best safety. Get him over Brian Dawkins. This card plays way better than the holographic Brian Dawkins. Trust me, take my word for it. This card is a monster. If I had to keep anybody in secondary, I would sell Troy Palomalo and B Doc for Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor makes plays. He's always forcing Fumbles. I don't know if, if it's because he's stronger than Brian Dawkins or what the case may be, but nonetheless, um, he, he just makes play. He forces so many fumbles, way more than Brian Dawkins. And Brian Dawkins has 102 hit power. Uh, I love this card right here. It's amazing. This, uh, Dion, like I, I literally just got, as soon as I bought Joe Hayden, I went ahead and bought this as well. It's between him and Tim Jennings from the Bears, the holographic Jennings. But, you know, let me go with Dion, upgrade my corners a little bit. Uh, we got Dan Deardorf. Uh, I had 99 um, MVP McCoy, but I traded him. Before I had McCoy, I had 99 uh, AP um, playoff MVP or MVP edition, whatever it is. You guys know what I mean, the purple card. I'm, they have so many names now, I don't know. But um, I live streamed one day, and I had 12 fumbles in one day. AP fumbled four fumbles in two games, so I, I sold him. I was pissed off, so I bought Shady McCoy. I was like, he doesn't fumble. They lied. He fumbled four times in the same day. I actually sold McCoy yesterday. Um, actually, no, it was this morning, actually. 
for a hundred and I bought them for one fifty. I sold them for one fifty, um, and I, I got Eric Dickerson. This card right here, the guy is a falling forward machine, man. He doesn't fumble, and he just always seems to go an extra two or three yards for it. I love him. Uh, Lando Pace, you know, um, some of the best linemen that are available. Steve Largent, uh, you know, not big in size, but a uh, very amazing card. He's only going, I got him for like 60K. To me, that's a steal. You look at his stats, 100 catch, 99 catch of traffic. And obviously, uh, he does drop passes. It's not like he, he catches absolutely everything. You know, he will drop passes. But, you know, for the most part, he's very reliable running over the middle. Um, Larry Allen, 99 Momo, uh, I was very upset, I lost a coin game in a stream, and I felt like, uh, if I had more speed on receiver, I would've did good, my receivers were butt when I, um, was streaming, I had, like, uh, 97 Larry Fitzgerald, 95 Tavon Austin, 95 Percy Harvin, 95, uh, Michael Crabtree, after that loss, I was like, you know, I really need to upgrade my, um, I really need to upgrade my receivers, he was the first receiver I bought, uh, you know, you can't go wrong with him, speed is incredible, uh, John Randall, uh, you know, he really doesn't, for my scheme, he doesn't really make too many plays happen for me, um, there's really not too many times I can sit there and be like, oh my god, that John Randall did nuts, uh, uh you know, I'm sure he's a good card, but for me, I really don't realize him doing too much, uh, Derek Thomas, uh, I really don't use that much, I did the collection for him, because I pulled a couple of collectibles and actually did the collection, totaled out to 74k, once you get the, the coins for doing the collection, and then you have to play the game to get the card, and that was 5k. So after all the deductions, it came out to uh, 74k, and he was going for like 110 at the time. My plans were to sell him. I was like, uh, you know, let me just hold on to him. But I actually still plan on selling him because I, I run um, a pass coverage defense. I run nickel and dime and some quarter. So there's always only two running uh, linebackers on the field at the same time, which is usually... Uh, Ray Lewis and James Harrison. So Derek Thomas may only see the field one or two times a game. So I'm thinking I'm gonna sell him. Lawrence Taylor, I, I did the um, chemistry for him, so I can't do nothing with him. I'm gonna show you where I got him lined up. Same thing with Deacon Jones. 98 Chain Bailey, I did the. I'm, I'm going to speed up. I'm talking way too many about these cards, but 98 Chain Bailey, I did the collection. Guy's a monster. Uh, I can't do anything with Reggie White. I did the chemistry for him. We got Hutchinson. Now my team name is Living Like Larry. Once I get into the red zone, I will throw it up there. And Larry DeGoon Fitzgerald will come down with it. I actually pulled him. Uh, Colin Kaepernick was the QB before Drew Brees. Now, I still have uh, Colin Kaepernick in my um, starting lineup because Drew Brees does throw dots. And people tend to play a lot of fag D because he's he's not mobile. So, once I start seeing that, I'll throw in Kaepernick. And I'll start mixing it up a little bit, forcing you to change your coverage a little bit. And I got plenty of game plays of me showing that strategy. So, still got 96, you know, uh, Patrick Peterson. Still got a lot of guys here that, um, you know, I know there's a lot of 99 teams that are way better than mine. But, you know, it's a work in progress, you know what I mean? Um, I, I still feel like I have a very solid team. Let's go on really quickly and show you guys our uh, starting lineup and who I got where and why. Now, offensive line, self-explanatory. I'm running speed run because I have the coach... Uh, what is this guy's name, man? Uh, Schwartz with plus two speed. So um, he gives me plus 20 speed run, and he actually gives me, um, you know, my second highest chemistry. So, I mean, why not? Um, fullback, I don't ever use a fullback. I just uh, got Vontae Leach in one of the toppers when I bought a bundle. So uh, he was the best fullback I got, so why not? I'm not really going to spend money on a, on a 99 fullback if I'm never going to use him. Um, right here, we got Momo 1, we got Largent, and then we got uh, Fish Jarrah. I definitely love my trios of receivers on the bench. We have A.J. Green, uh, those four receivers right there alone. I run Kansas City, so I run five wide, and I will be releasing the scheme very soon, guys. Don't worry. And um, I, I love my mix of receivers. Now, I, I do want to upgrade to another batch of receivers, but for now, you know, they get the job done. Uh, Vernon Davis is uh, good for now. I definitely want the holographic Tony Gonzalez because that card is God in a tight end position. Oh, my God. It's amazing. Uh, Drew Brees starting. The, oh, man, the card is amazing. Uh, defense line, we got Freeney on the left, we got John Randall, we got Deacon, and we got Taylor. Now, Lawrence Taylor on the defensive line, 97 finesse, 97 uh, power move, along with, like, 94 block shot or something like that. He's, uh, I believe he's better than Fantasy J.J. Watt. If you look at the numbers, I think he's he's better. If not, he's right there close to it. So, you could pick up this card probably for, like, 80, 90K now, and, he, and Fantasy J.J. Watt goes for, like, 300K. And uh, I actually lined up the cards yesterday and, and um this lawrence taylor is a monster linebackers we got uh dt ray lewis and harrison but like i said i play a lot of nickel and dime so 
Um, I mainly just stick with Harrison and uh, Lewis on the field. In my review for Harrison, Harrison is a missile. The dude is a laser. He causes his sticks up and down the field. The, the guy is a monster. Uh, Derek Thomas can't really put a review on him because I, I don't really use him. You know, if I see somebody come out in like a you know uh, two one two set, you know two two wide receivers, one running back, and two tight ends, I'll come out in like a four three. You know, try and maybe stop the run. But other than that, I really don't use him too much. Um, I just put this together now. We got 99 Holographic Hayden, 99 Pro Bowl Deion Sanders, 98 Chin Bailey, which I will be selling at one point. The next cornerback I want to be able to upgrade is to the um, Holographic Tim Jennings, which I will be getting uh, very soon. Or MVP Richard Sherman, whichever one uh, falls into my... Like, obviously, Richard Sherman is more expensive, but it, it depends on you know what his going rate is. Uh, Sean Taylor and Brian Dawkins, like I said, man, we got Troy Palumalu. Um, on the bench now he does see the field when I run my nickel I run uh, two corners so it'll be Joe Hayden on the left and Dion on the right and then my um, two safeties up top will be um, Palumalu and Taylor and then I will have um, a nickel strong what I what I usually run on the lower end I will have uh, Brian Dawkins right there so that's my uh, setup right there uh, right here is all this fun stuff right here so uh, that's my team right there guys um, you know, I have, a, like I said, I opened up a lot of bundles just for stream purposes. You know what I mean? So I have a lot of cards, a lot of reserves. And uh, what I do is, how I get my coins is I, I, I nickel and dime. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I'll, I'll find out. I'll have six golds. And, I mean, if you look at my auction, it's damn near full. You know, I had a couple sales before. But, you know, if a gold card sells for 600 coins, I'll put them up there for, you know, 499 And, you know, little by little, you keep doing this. And instead of quick selling everything... Like, I could quick sell all these cards and probably get, I don't know, 80K, 100K, maybe even more than that. But, uh, you know, little by little, you, you nickel and dime your way up there. You know, if you sell, think about it like this. You, you're allowed 20 cards up there. If you sell each card for at least 500 coins, that's 10K right there. And trust me, people buy everything. Some cards are worth more than you think. I'll look, and I'll find a gold card. I, what's this going rate? And obviously, he's in the collection or something because I'll look, and I'll find a gold who's like 81 overall. He's going for like... 9k and i'll sell them for like 7.6k just to you know flip them real quick and people buy them like damn that's that's crazy so you know um i i sell everything and um it's been obviously successful for me and also you know when i'm doing streams stuff like that i'll do live streams i'll do coin games and i'll do card well not really a uh, card i prefer coin games but i do coin games and card games and um i've been very successful with those you know so far i want to say i've been um i've lost less probably about five games but i've won probably over like a hundred of them so for the most part i've been very successful in that and i've been able to make coins doing that way so i'm fortunate enough to where i'm a you know youtube personality and a streamer so you know i can uh get paid up front and um you know i've, I've been very successful in those type of games so uh, that's the lineup guys let me know what you guys think about the series and all that fun stuff i uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video man um love each and every single one of you guys man glad to be back and uh love the support you guys have given me man uh really 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 means a lot to me like you guys don't know um just how awesome it, it is to sit back and, and watch the support um that you guys have been you know giving me over the years you know what i mean i'm, I'm a very sentimental guy you know what i mean i i, I could you know my, my eyes are tearing up now <laughs> you know i've always been a very um emotional person uh, you know that's what happens when you're raised by a female you know what i mean uh, my mother raised me i didn't have any male guidance so i i tend to be a very uh, a very soft emotional person but uh reading the comments of the last video man really really touched me man um i i know i've been gone for a while but uh i've been fortunate enough to have you guys in my life for the last couple years man and uh it's it's been an absolute blessing to be able to uh, you know provide you know, for my son, for myself, uh, doing what it is I, I, I've been doing since I was a kid, man. You guys don't know the passion I have for video games, you know what I mean? Like, my mother tells me all the time, it's like, you know what, man, you you actually turned video games in, into something, you know what I mean? Uh, you actually are able to uh, make a, an income doing it, you know what I mean? That's all you did when you was a kid, you know what I mean? I didn't really go out too much you know just video games all i wanted to do is just play games. i've i've always been fascinated by you know playing games and, and and i've always been uh you know fortunate to have a mother who was able to provide me with the newer systems and the newer games and uh, ever since i was a kid man all i did was game 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 and uh 
and now I'm still able to do it, um, you know, as I've grown up, and uh, it, it's just been a, a major, major, major blessing, man, and it's all thanks to each and every single one of you guys, man, who, uh, like I said, have, have been a, a big part of my life the last couple of years, man, you guys have been with me through everything no matter what happens man when i i couldn't afford to live in florida no more i was forced to move um you know when when i was able to quit my job when i was able to get partnered when you know i, I was able to uh you know do every you guys have been through it all man my son's first birthday is uploaded on youtube <laughs> you know my niece's party everything man you guys have been through so much with me man and uh uh just want to tell you guys thank you man from the bottom of my heart man it thank you you know what i mean um you, you guys don't know how much you guys mean to me and uh love you guys man and um i i know a lot of people may say it and uh whether they mean it or not man whether you guys think it's it's genuine or not man you guys have changed my life more than you guys would ever know you know what i mean uh you guys have really 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 just changed my life and i could talk about this forever man but the video is already getting long on enough but um i, I just want to you know thank you guys for everything you guys have done everything you guys will you know continue to do you guys do so much for me you guys don't understand everything you guys do um for me and i just want to say thank you guys man from the bottom of my heart thank you guys for everything hope you guys enjoyed the video see boy gs i'm out peace